Hey guys, Ian coming at you from self-isolation, and if you're in self-isolation too, and you're a creator like myself, probably not making too much money right now, and that's a problem. Because although the world is somewhat on pause with the coronavirus, rent and other expenses really aren't on pause, and we still need to find ways to make money, that's exactly what I've done in this video. I've round up some of the best ways to make money as a creator from the comfort of your own home. So without any further ado, let's get right into this video. Number one, selling stock photos and videos. Now I know what you're probably thinking, what the heck am I supposed to shoot stock photos or videos of inside my house that people will spend money on? The answer to that question is just about anything. I've sold this photo multiple times. Yes, that is a photo of my toilet. People bought a photo of my toilet more than once. Like that is just insane. A great way to find content that is lacking in quality or quantity is to go onto these stock sites and just search for things that you have access to inside your home and see if there's any content there. And if there is, how high the quality of that content is. Because if you can either fill a gap in a niche or shoot higher quality content, you can fill those gaps. And when people search for those things, which they will, you will be the one that they buy from. Now, I know what you're probably thinking now, and if you're not a creator who is a photographer or videographer, you're probably thinking, I only have my cell phone. I can't shoot stock photos or videos on that, can I? Yes, you can. You can shoot stock photos and videos just about on anything. You just have to keep a few things in mind. Some of them are a bit more strict when it comes to cell phones because of the smaller sensors, but it is the same rules that apply to everyone else with larger mirrorless or DSLR or cinema cameras. So those things are quality is your number one one priority. Make sure that you're shooting in a well-lit environment. Use a window if you have to. Use your lights, turn them on. Make sure that there is enough light there so that you do not have noisy footage because noisy footage does not sell. As well, make sure that the content is good. Make sure that the subject is in focus. And most importantly, make sure that there is a story to your photos and videos because if there is not, no one's going to buy it. There needs to be something in that photo or video that a business, someone advertising, whoever it may be, is going to see and say, yes, that's going to tell my story that's going to be what I use to advertise my business. It has to have something in it that people are going to see and going to recognize and know exactly what you're talking about without any words. Like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words and you have to make sure that those thousand words are very specific and they are high quality. With that being said, what sites do I recommend for stock photos and videos? The main ones that I recommend for stock photos are Shutterstock and Adobe Stock. The main one that I recommend for stock video is Blackboard. I'll leave links to these and absolutely everything else that I talk about in this video down in the description box below. And if you want to learn more about stock photos and videos, I will be making or possibly when you watch this have made a video about stock photo and video, which I will put right here. So click on that if you want to learn more about selling stock photos and video. With that being said, simply make an account with these sites, Shutterstock, Adobe Stock. You can even download their apps on your phone and upload photos straight from there, or you can do it on your computer through their website. Either way, once you've uploaded your photos, you have to add titles, descriptions, and keywords. Make sure that these are very specific to your photo and that they make sense because these are how people are going to find your photo. And if these are off and you don't put a lot of time into them, photo will never sell no matter how good it is. The same goes for stock video. However, I use Blackbox. Put in your metadata and upload them, and Blackbox then distributes them to these stock agencies and takes this much of a cut. I don't remember how much this cut is, so that just goes to show how insignificant it is, because in this field and just about every other one, time is money, and the amount of time I've saved using Blackbox is truly worth it. Like I said, if you want to sign up, I highly recommend it for stock video. Go check them out in the description as well as Shutterstock and Adobe Stock for photos. One more thing about stock photos and videos that I forgot to mention, you might be sitting on a gold mine already and you don't even have to shoot anything. If you're a photographer or videographer or someone who just likes shooting photos or videos, go through your photos, go through your videos, go through your hard drives, wherever you have your stuff stored and just check if there's already stuff that you've shot in the past that you can upload to these sites and make money off of because it's a lot better making money off of it online than sitting 
in your hard drive to be forgotten. Number two, freelance service websites such as Fiverr and Upwork. There is a lot of stuff that creatives and pretty much anyone can do from home with the skills they have through a computer or some sort of digital platform. And if you advertise that you have these abilities and you know how to do these services, people will buy them, people will find you. And once again, just like stock photo and video, you can kind of capitalize on places where there's a lack of quality or a lack in a niche. So you can go on to sites like Fiverr and Upwork and search for these people who are working on things that you like doing. And if there's a lack of quality or a lack of quantity, that is a great place for you to check out and show your services. However, just in general, if you are good at something, go put it up on Fiverr or Upwork and you will eventually get some people asking you to do work from home. There are so many things that creatives can do from home. If you're a musician, make music. Heck, if you're a musician, you can even sell your music as stock music and make money off of it that way, just like with stock photos and videos. If you're a photo and video editor, sell photo and video editing services. If you're an artist, a graphic designer, a web designer, sell those services. If nobody knows you can do it, nobody's gonna pay you money for it. Put yourself out there so that people know that you can do it. Like I said, you can capitalize on places where there is a lack of quality or quantity, but you can also just put your services out there and eventually people are going to be in need of your services. They're gonna know that you're there because you're marketing yourself and people will pay you for using your skills to help them out. With that being said, you don't necessarily have to use freelancing sites like Fiverr or Upwork. You can also simply go straight to your clients by advertising on sites like Facebook, GG and Craigslist and just going directly to your client telling them this is what you can do and if you're marketing yourself and people need it in your area in your country anywhere around the world wherever you're advertising people will eventually find you and pay you money for these things just be careful if you're going directly to a client do some kind of payment upfront because on Fiverr and Upwork there are safeguards in place to make sure that both parties get what they're looking for but if you're going directly to your client you have to put in those safeguards yourself with that being said I really like this second option because you can make really good money. The better you advertise, market yourself, because like I said, the only way people are going to find you and pay for your services is if you tell them that you have these skills. Number three, making YouTube videos. I'm doing that right now. now. There's a few ways to monetize this. First one is YouTube ads, and the second one is affiliate links. So let's start with advertising on YouTube. When you see an advertisement on YouTube, someone is making money from that. An advertiser is paying YouTube, and YouTube is paying the creator for displaying the ads on their video. You're doing the advertising for these companies, and you and YouTube are both making money from it. Now, just like stock photos, you're not gonna make too much money from each and every view or each and every sale. However, with multiple views and multiple people watching these videos, maybe even multiple ads throughout the video, these add up quickly. So once again, it's quantity, but quality is important here as well. You need to make high quality videos, but what the heck are you going to make these videos about from the comfort of your own home? And just like everything else here, people have skills, people have passions, people have things that they're knowledgeable about, they like to talk about. Talk about these things in videos. There are 7 billion people on this earth and many others out there will have similar interests to you and love to hear what you're talking about, especially if you're passionate about it because that will resonate and people will see it in your videos and they will love watching them and you can make money off of this by putting advertisements on and secondly, by having affiliate links. Now these affiliate links can be things from services to products and so forth. All you have to do is find these sites. My main one is Amazon Associates. I then take products that I either use in my videos or that I'm doing product reviews or comparisons about and I put put them in the description to the video. Then when a viewer clicks on those links and they buy the product, I get a cut of that sale. So this is a great way to make money off of talking about things you love or just by linking the products that you use to make your videos or that you like in the description of your videos, talking about just about anything you're passionate about because there are more people out there that are passionate about it. I'm not even gonna go into examples here. Whatever you're passionate about, make a channel about it, talking about it, or do product reviews, comparisons, whatever it may be. There are so many affiliate programs programs out there, check them out. I made a video about this here, so you can check it out as well. If you're interested in learning more about affiliate marketing, once again, like I said, the quality is key, but just talk about what you love, review what you love, people are gonna watch it, and you are going to make money off of it. Once again, I have a video here talking about optimizing your YouTube channel, using the right keywords, the right descriptions, the right titles. People aren't even gonna find your videos, let alone make you any money from watching them talking about what you love, so make sure that if you don't don't know how to do that and you're thinking about using this tip number three, go check out this video. 
But that being said, on to tip number four. And this is kind of similar to tip number three, but this is making a course, tutorial, whatever it may be, some sort of program that people can learn from. Again, you have skills and then there may be other people out there that in this case don't need you to provide them, but actually need you to teach them. So there are so many people out there wanting to learn things. And if you are really good at something, make a course about it, write it down, make the course through video, through a webinar, in a book, an ebook, an audio book, a podcast, whatever the heck you need to do to get that knowledge out there. Put it out there, put a price on it, and people who want to learn these things will pay money for it. There are so many things out there that people can be knowledgeable about. If you're really good at making music, tell people how to make music. If you're really good at photo or video editing, tell people how to edit photos or videos. If you're really good at drawing, teach people how to draw. People will pay money to learn things if you create good content in whatever form you want. May it be text, audio, video, however you want to do it. People are willing to pay to learn, just like they're willing to pay for content people will pay for things. There are so many people on this world that like the same things as you, that wanna learn things you know. You just need to connect yourself with them by putting yourself out there, making sure that your SEO is great so that people actually find it. Video about that here if you wanna learn more about that for pretty much everything here, you want people to find you. But once people find you, there are gonna be people out there who either wanna learn from you or like what you like and will watch your videos, watch your content, buy your content, and you can profit from these things. Once again, in the comfort of your own home, talking or doing doing what you love. Number five, selling digital products. There are so many opportunities for this as well, which is kind of similar to making the courses or tutorials, depending on the medium that you kind of presented in. But you can also make things such as presets or LUTs for different software. There are gonna be other people out there using similar software to you. And if you've made a preset or some kind of shortcut to make things faster, people will buy those things because if they're saving time, it's also gonna save them money. So they're gonna be okay buying them from you. So just go look through all your programs and if there's anything that you have made that speeds things up or makes them better or things that just weren't integrated into the software or the programs already, go and sell these things as digital products. It's a great way to make money with things that you probably already have sitting on your computer's hard drive. Number six, and this one is kind of the obvious one that I don't think a lot of people think of, that's just message new clients, past clients, possible clients, whatever it may be, tell them that you're still working. People may think that because of the corona virus, you're no longer working. Your business has stopped. In reality, you're still here. You're still trying to make money and they are in the same boat. We are all in this together. So if you don't let them know, they may not know that you're still working. So let them know that you can still edit their videos, edit their photos, do their graphic design, make them a logo. Tell them that you are still 100% up and running from home during the coronavirus outbreak. Let them know what you can do from home. Because like I said, we're all in this together. We're all in the same boat. And the only way to let people know that you're still working is to let them know that you're still working. So put yourself out there. Talk to absolutely everyone who you may think needs your services, needs something that you can do, and let them know that you can do it right now from home without having to go in contact. You can keep your social distance, you can stay at home, and you can still get them the content or whatever they need from home, and you're both happy. You're making money from home, and they're still getting what they need during these difficult times. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're all doing well out there. Everyone's staying safe, listening to the what the World Health Organization is saying, because like I said, we are all in this together. And the only way that we're going to make the coronavirus a thing of the past is if we all listen to what the World Health Organization is saying, take the precautions that we need to keep everyone around us, as well as ourselves, safe and make the coronavirus, like I said, thing of the past. I will leave links to videos I've made going more in depth on pretty much every topic in this video down in the description box below. So go check those out if you're really interested in any of these and you want to learn more before you get started, I would highly recommend it. Anyways, thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you all stay well during these difficult times and my best wishes go out to all of you.